We're on an early fall strategy session. We have got some crazy conditions going on here. I'm with my good friends, Scott Schuster and Steve Smith on this trip. And we've just got this day today of myriad of storms. It was sunny and it's gonna be cloudy, snow, wind, rain, insane conditions. And then the next day is supposed to be post frontal conditions, north winds. So unstable weather in fall, particularly early fall, you still know those fish may be in the shallow cover. So we're gonna fish weeds and rocks, different edges and get way up on the cover to see if we can figure out what type of structural element the fish are in and obviously how deep and what's it ultimately gonna to take to catch them. 36. Steve just had, had one, he thought, fell off, had been the same fish. It was nowhere near aggressive. Oh, you're strong. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> nice job. Been a crazy day of weather. Uh, rain, hail, snow. Thought we saw a tornado. Not reacting to bucktails like normal and even minnow baits. And so we went to a spinner bait. Just saw one. Finally got this guy to eat. Oh. <laughs> Dandy. Late night. Let's let him go. Healthy, ready for next year. Pristine wilderness experience. In fall, you never know what you're gonna get. We've been fishing some rocks here and the wind was blowing on them, but settled down, came in at dark and got this beast, man. You fish rocks, you fish weeds, the fish can be anywhere in the fall. Really glad this one was on this rock point. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Whoa, <laughs> this is a early fall monster. <laughs> I love this. Wow, on the rock point. Are you ready to go back? Let's go. All right. Hold her by the tail, and away she goes. Yes. So in fall, one of the things you get a lot is wind. You know, wind directions change quite a bit. You start seeing a lot more northwest winds, northeast winds, or even strong south winds. And so when that switches around, what you really want to do is think about when the wind is blowing real hard on certain rock areas, those are when you want to fish them. But likewise, whatever wind direction is coming from, the bays that have weeds in them that are protected from the wind, those are going to usually be better. The calmest has been. Yeah out here. Like we can tuck in a bay and get out of the wind, but this yeah. 
almost almost laid down at the gun. So it's early fall and the fishing conditions, if you look, look really, really solid. We haven't seen a lot of fish. It's easy to come up on these spots and just cast the edges. But if you get way up on top with some of these casts, some fish like this actually reside in two to four feet of water. Got a pretty good one, let's take a look at it. Come on, buddy. So we're not fishing the edges all the time. This guy was right on top. Pretty good fish, let's let her go. Catch her again next year. We're fishing through a bunch of these bays and what we're finding is the fish are way up tight in the cover and they're kind of sluggish. So we still got the first angler in the front throwing a bucktail because you got to keep the fish honest and if they're active they're going to come in and chase it. But the fish have not really been that way. So the second and third angler we're throwing top water up in there, we're throwing spinner baits to slow down, glider jerk baits. I'm really slowing the boat speed down picking apart the cover and trying to draw those fish out of the cover in those areas. So can really only fish maybe about 30% fewer spots than you might in a day because you have to fish slower, but that's the way to get them out and ultimately get a bite. Go. Great net job. So most of the today, fish's attitude have just been slow, right? Throwing spinner baits, trying to trick something into eating. This guy comes out, clearly was more aggressive, just lunched it on the turn. It was a great fish. Oh, and healthy. It's the net. Just a giant. There she goes. We have had a myriad of conditions, but Steve and Scott and I just fished a lot of different areas, battled through the weather, but the key was fishing shallow and slowing down. When you're not getting fish reacting, when you're fishing fast, slow down, get in the cover, pick it apart, and catch them. Join us next week for another Big Fish Adventure on The Muskie Hunter. The Muskie Hunter has been brought to you by these fine sponsors.